Yeah, we can do that. We get it. It's fine. Right, Akutsu? Why are you here? Aren't you busy? <laughs> Just checking in. <sighs> you made quite a mess here. Tak meets Soma. He's the leader of the RK. Yeah, I kind of figured. You keep saying we, but I don't think you know what's going on. You just gonna waltz in here and bark orders? Kaito-san turned down your offer, didn't he? And the other guy is Yagami from his own detective agency. Before that, he was an accomplished lawyer. Now he's with Kaito-san independently. It's my job to be running HQ, though. You shouldn't roll up unannounced. I'm supposed to leave you to your own devices? I do have to check in, at least to show my face. <laughs> Got a cold? It's a dust allergy, actually. Tough thing to live with. And I used to catch hell for it in the Yakuza. Quit that infernal sniffling, they'd say. <laughs> yeah. That couldn't have been easy, man. I bet they would beat the shit out of you if you didn't blow your nose. <laughs> you know it. I do wish we'd had the time to work together, Kaito-san. You as well, Yagami-san. It may feel like we're a small-time outfit in the immediate term, but RK will grow. We'll show you. But in the meantime, we'll leave the two of you be. Does that work? Finally, some sense. <laughs> Best of luck with the growth. As the leader here, you need brains and brawn. Something else? Your gang was out there searching for some guy in a picture. Well, how'd that hunt end up turning out? He was some kind of girls bar manager, wasn't he? It sounded like he'd disappeared from Kamurocho more than a few years back. You have any luck tracking him down? Ah, we actually found that he's unfortunately dead. Likely murdered. Considering Kamurocho's reputation and the nature of his profession, I can't say I'm all that surprised. <sighs> Got it. I guess I was just kind of curious. Always happy to oblige a detective. That was quick. I guess we couldn't ask for a better piece of bait. Kick us off, Akutsu. It's not over till it's over, you little shit. The hell's that? Sawa Sensei! Stop it! Someone's here too? I wouldn't have expected you and this bitch to be connected. What the hell do you think you're doing? This has nothing to do with her. You're the detective, aren't you? You figure it out. Hey, 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 hey. Yagami. 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 Rise, I shine. shine. There he is. I was starting to worry you might not wake up. My men are glorified amateurs at this stuff. The technique for knocking someone out takes practice to get down. So, uh... Oh good, no brain damage. Man, I'm glad you're tough as nails. Now we can get to the fun part, huh? Yagami-san here just saved your asses. You wouldn't be standing if he didn't come around. There's no way we could have known this asshole would show up. Not my fault everything went to shit. This was your operation anyway. Fine, it's okay. But you need to make sure you keep your boys in check from here on. Huh? <laughs> Did that hurt? <sighs> it hurt, right? <sighs> See? You all see? First comes pain, and then the fear. You have to start with pain. Fear won't work if you haven't given them reason. Slap them around, but you do need to keep them conscious. Enough to keep the fear alive. That's how you get what you want to hear. 
Am I right? <sighs> I can tell when someone's lying. My superiors found that useful. Probably why they kept me around. Now, no playing dumb and none of your tricks. Don't underestimate me. Yagami-san. So, what's the deal between you and that lady teacher? Uh, we're colleagues, as of a few days ago. The fuck are you talking about? Stay out of this, Akutsu. Huh? I'm telling you to shut up and leave this to me. I'm focusing. Besides, Yagami-san here is telling us the truth. <laughs> He's just being a little vague, is all. So what do you mean, Sawa-sensei is your colleague? I was asked to look into a bullying case at Serio High. That's all I meant by it. How about that? What'd you do to her? Oh, she's sound asleep now, I'm sure. Our business isn't with her, anyway. You want Kiwana? Right. About that. You keep calling him Kuwana. That's not who we know him as. Huh? Kuwana is his alias. A fake name? That's right. So tell me, what is he? What do you know him for? <sighs> you get two seconds to answer. What does this Kuwana guy do? He's a handyman. In Ijincho. Everybody knows him. He's been taking jobs in the area for a long time now. A handyman, huh? Well, from the way it sounds, you haven't known each other very long. <sighs> yeah. His real name's Kitakata. Ring any bells? Well, there you have it. Your face says you have no idea what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> so then, any idea where your Kuwana-san went? We have some business with him. I wouldn't tell you even if I knew. Of course you wouldn't. And I suppose that's not a lie. But it's probably more accurate to say you don't know where he is, either. Turns out you don't have a damn thing on him. <sighs> Shit. Know what that means? <sighs> it means you have no more use for me. Shame to be smart and still lose, huh? Her death is merely collateral damage to Soma of RK. Master. Siren? Soma! That was well played. How silly of me. This pretty little thing is for women. Have I told you what RK stands for yet? It's red. Knife. The owner must have smelled trouble coming. He took off before I could find him. Tell me... Why did you kill Sawa-sensei? Uh, I'm afraid she knew too much. And that's all. And that's all? You're in the same boat. We can't afford to ignore you anymore. And you already made a mistake. You didn't kill me when you could have. I'll own up to that. Akutsu wasn't equipped to handle the task. Well then, now you pay the price for it. Will I? Kaito's down and you're by yourself. Should be easy. Ugh! <laughs> 
Well, you're scrappy, aren't you? Impressive. Maybe I should have prioritized stabbing you over Kaito. Uh, oh, oh, fuck. You're kind of struggling to stand, aren't you? Give it a second. That kick went to your temple. I'm sure your head is spinning. Trying to rush it will only make it worse. Incidentally, Sawa Sensei didn't suffer long like you will. What the hell? <laughs> Whoever that is has terrible timing. What the hell are you doing in my bar? Hello? Is this the owner? Yes. Kuanakun warned me you'd show up. I decided I'd get out of there before you did. Don't expect that I'll ever come back either. All I wanted with Guanasan was to have a little chat. No need to go running for your lives now. <laughs> Spare me the lies. I already know you broke into a young woman's home and killed her. Come on. You wouldn't even hesitate on an old man in his 70s. Pass the phone to Yagami-san, please. Otherwise, I'm calling the cops over there. What could you possibly want with him? Quit stalling and give him the phone. Unless you'd rather I push a button and call the cops. I'm done talking to you. The owner of the bar would like a word with you. Determined to prevent any more deaths, Yagami searches high and low for the handyman. But the search leads to a maze of dead ends. As the situation becomes dire, a lifeline appears at the other end of a phone. Almost got me too, to be honest. You're saying one guy almost single-handedly took down the Yagami Detective Agency? It's true. His real name's Kitakata. Ring any bells? Well, you didn't tell the cops about him, did you? Had to give the cops a statement, so I did. With a generous side of bullshit. That'll get you busted, you know. I'm joking. All I said was the truth. However, Bondo, the man behind public security, makes a power play of his own. And the murderous Soma is still at large. Soma is believed to be a plant from public security. But that knowledge comes at a fatal price. That's how he knew sooner than anyone else that the Tojo was on the way out. Being undercover, he could see the writing on the wall and plan accordingly. That's why he founded the criminal network RK, so he could gather up and monitor all the ex yakuz at once. RK! Hmm? Okay, Soma? Arkay's here. How the hell could they have figured out where we'd be? Listen up! Kitakata Sensei stays alive. As for Yagami, if killing him means he doesn't escape, that's fine. I made sure I wasn't tailed on the way here. We both did. Neither of us could have let them out here. I know for damn sure we're too careful for that to happen. That means there's only one guy they could have tailed to find us. It was a Kaike. Public security figured out that there's a connection between me and him. What is the holdup? Hurry up and take them. <sighs> Are we really struggling to take out two guys? RK is going to be a joke if this keeps up. I thought you boys were the Tojo clan's finest. Your work really shouldn't be an embarrassment. Okay, bring it in. Right up, fellas. We're gonna have cops. really starting to annoy me.
Soma's ties to public security may lead to his undoing, but Soma arrives to carve a bloody path into a hideaway no one should know about. Reiko Kusumoto's betrayal has proven more volatile than anyone could have guessed. Soma? Uh, what? Who? Kane, get back! Huh? Here all by yourself? What are you trying to pull? Oh, I'm just here to talk. To be honest, Kuana's put us in kind of a tight spot. How so? Well, he's got Kawai's body, Reiko Kusumoto's victim, <laughs> hidden in a freezer, of all places. Been on ice for what, five years? You know about this, Yagami? Yeah. Problem is, he's planning to reveal its location on the internet. If that happens, Kusumoto-san will be ruined. No doubt, her fingerprints and other traces are all over the damn corpse. Yeah, but that's for the better. I mean, she won't have to listen to you. Reiko Kusumoto is a capable woman who can swim with the tides. She's irreplaceable. It would be unfortunate to lose her over some low life she had to put down. She's on our side now, and she's accepted it. So it's your duty to protect people like that? I protect order, not people. Consider me a necessary evil. Necessary evil? That's right. If I hadn't gone undercover, the Tojo clan's ex-Yakuza would be spread all over by now. If that happened, we never would have been able to track their current activity. That's why I created the RK Network. To keep Kamurocho's underground under control. Much safer and less messy than wiping them out indiscriminately. But in the shadow of order, there's always a pair of dirty hands. Right. Kiwana said something like that too. <laughs> but if there's one difference between the two of us, it's that I find my work enjoyable. It gives me purpose. When I dirty my hands, it's in the service of order. It goes back to a necessary evil to maintain peace in this country. In my eyes, peace does require violence. It only works when killers are below the surface, keeping it afloat. Sawa Sensei too? Is that the peace you want? <laughs> Yoko Sawa? She did have to die. She almost connected the Mikoshiba case to Kuwana. She was getting very close to it. She may even have figured out Reiko Kusamoto was involved. The fewer people who know a secret, the better kept the secret stays. I don't remember even hesitating on that call. And I think that means... Well, you guys won't like hearing this. But it was justified. You asshole! Oh, whoa, whoa. Don't fly off the handle now. I haven't finished what I had to say. What the fuck? Did I mention how much of a pain in the ass Kuana made this? He negotiated for your lives, using Kuai's body as leverage over us. What? So relax, would you? I don't plan on killing you here. Then why even show your sorry face? The trial for Ehara-san is coming up, right? You know, the groping thing. I've come here with a request that I hope you'll consider. This from you? Reiko Kusumoto's name is not to come up during the Ehara trial. That shouldn't be so hard, right? Shurosaki-sensei would have to agree to this, too. And if we were to refuse? Nothing. It's Kusumoto-san's request. She is asking nice. What? A mother doesn't want her child branded a murderer's son. Could you give her that much? <laughs> and that's all. I'm sure we'll talk soon. You think so, huh? Why put off what we can settle now? Soma! <laughs> Akane! Damn it! 
Why is this taking so long? Find Kawhi's body, and Kawana will show up. The faster you go, the faster we get out of here. This air is unbearable. Sir, do you think Kawana's still around? We already tore this place up. Couldn't he have bailed? Well, he didn't get out with Kawhi's body. No cars have gotten in or out of here since we showed up. Just find the body. We can deal with Kuana later. Somasan! Go check it out! Kawhi's body. Sir, uh, I uh, think we found it. Do you see? You can do anything if you put your mind to it. Yo, how we doing? Sir, I'm the one who found him. We were just about to pull him out. Ugh, he's so fucking nasty. Good. Get this thing out of here. I've got a buyer ready to pay quite a premium. Good job, everybody. It's Kuana. <laughs> you thought you could hide? Show yourself. Don't you want to try to negotiate? You call this a negotiation? You don't bring a gun to a ceasefire. <laughs> You've led us on a hell of a wild chase, Soma. <laughs> well then, how many mice do we have in the maze? One appears. The weakest dies first. That fucking hurt! Uh, I'm gonna fucking kick this little wimp's ass! You call me a wimp, asshole? Out of my fucking way! You made it out alive, Yagami. So, is all this playing out exactly as you planned? If we can catch this murderer here and put him in chains, then I'd say we're off to a good start. <laughs> That's hypocritical, isn't it? You say I'm a killer? What's your body count up to? I'm just a former Japanese teacher. Sounds to me like you've got it all wrong. Well, doesn't that figure? The only teacher I ever hated was in my high school Japanese class. Soma. I don't know if I've ever met a more twisted piece of shit. Undercover agent or whatever. You've crossed the line without giving a damn. Undercover agent? My men don't need to hear this shit. Sawa Sensei died at your hands. You deserve what's coming. I'm afraid that's what you say when you have the upper hand. Guys, turn it on. Now it's time to give them hell, okay? They're going down. Oh, yeah. Let's get this over with. Yagami! Pay attention. 
attention. Bondo too. He'll abandon you to your fate. To hell with evil being necessary for order. You'll run in the cell for the rest of your miserable life. left to do is clean this shit up. When justice breaks, someone's always gonna find a way to redefine it to suit themselves. And from that point of view,